Welcome back to Movies TV Mad and Tuesday's edition of the DC Universe Daily Bite Size. Welcome! Hello! Some rumours on the Batman 2 have come to my attention. So let's get into them and let me tell you what I think about them. So apparently Clayface will be a serial killer that uses his victim's skin to disguise his appearance. First of all, ooh, no, don't do that. That's gross. Secondly, we already had one of these iconic members of the rogues gallery as a serial killer. Come on, Matt, don't do the same thing again. I don't believe, you know, you know, I, I don't believe for one minute that these rumours are true. I don't believe Matt would be so uninventive. If we are having Clayface like everybody wants, I want Matt to be much more inventive than just someone being another serial killer. Let's go on with the Batman 2 rumours though. Lastly, but not least, the Joker will continue to be a Hannibal Lecter type character feeding Batman information about crime. But we've already seen him doing this. Why do we want to see this happening? I want to see the Joker being the Joker. For me, these rumours are telling me that we're just going to see the same thing we've already seen. And I really don't want to see that. But I don't believe them. I don't believe, as I say, Matt would be so uninventive. But for me, no, no thank you. But staying on the subject of Batman, Michael Keaton was on the Happy and Confused podcast with Josh Horowitz. He said he had seen portions of the Batgirl film that David Zaslav and Warner Brothers Discovery shelved for a tax write-off, which was very, very wrong. Batgirl was perfect to be on Max. And so was Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle should never have been released in cinemas. It never made any money. Batgirl would never have made any money in cinemas. But it would have done them very well, both those films, on Max. And it was a mistake to shelve Batgirl. It's not as bad as you may think it is. Basically, a Batman Beyond movie. That's what it is. And it was okay. And it was solid. And it was fun. And it was wrong to shelve it. Now, Michael also was asked if he'd return to his iconic role as Batman and Bruce Wayne. He says he's open to it. He doesn't think about it, but certain things would have to happen for that to happen. Now, this is very interesting. We're getting a Beetlejuice too. So Michael and Tim Burton have reunited. The only way I would want to see Michael return as Batman again would be with Tim Burton, not necessarily with the Batman Beyond story that everyone is clamouring for, just something that Tim and Michael think is right. I would absolutely be open to that. But if he's not going to return with Tim Burton, then Michael, don't waste your time. You made two brilliant movies with Tim Burton where you were Batman, they worked, you were iconic, you were a lot of people's favourite Batman. You are one of my many favourite Batman because I'm not a this or that person. And that's how I feel about that. Finally, the James Gunn situation is interesting. The DC Universe situation is very interesting to me. I've always felt that DC Universe is basically still the DC Extended Universe, but it's going to be more of a connected universe, right? But they've recast certain roles. I also feel that James is taking inspiration from many comic books for his Superman movie. I just hope this is a, a movie of inspirations. For example, Superman Returns was Brian Singer's love letter to Dick Donner because he was obsessed with Superman 78, like most of us are. But there was nothing new to say with that movie. Yeah, he kind of put in there that Jason was Superman's son. That would have been interesting going forward, but I expect a lot more from James Gunn's Superman film than that.